Hi everyone, I'm James Ranim Rapirap and I'm here to show you some brief discussion about basic principles, concept, and definition of basic thermodynamics. Lesson 2. Basic principles, concept, and definition. System, surrounding, and boundary. System. A system is defined as a quantity of matter or region in a space chosen for the thermodynamic study. Surrounding. The mass or region outside the system is called the surroundings. Boundary. The real or imaginary surface that separates the system from its surroundings is called boundary. And there are types of system. First is closed system or control mass. Second is isolate system. And last is open system or control volume. Next is units. And there are two types of units. First is metric SI system, based on decimal relationship between various units. Example, millimeter, centimeter, diameter, meter, kilometer, and etc. And second is English system. No apparent systematic numeric base, various units are related to each other to each rather arbitrary. Example, inch, feet, yard, and etc. Thermodynamic properties of systems. First is extensive properties. Properties that are dependent of the size or extent of the system. Second is intensive properties. <coughs> properties that are independent of the size or mass of the system. And third is specific properties. Extensive properties expressed per unit mass to make them intensive. And here are the thermodynamics concept. First is state, second is steady state, and third is process. And the fourth thermodynamics concept is equilibrium. And under equilibrium are thermal, thermal equilibrium, mechanical equilibrium, phase equilibrium, and chemical equilibrium. There are five thermodynamic processes. First is cyclic process. Second is reversible process. Third is irreversible process. Fourth is polytrophic process. And lastly, throttling process. And the last part of our topic is pressure scale. And there are three types of pressure scale. First is absolute pressure, gauge pressure, and vacuum pressure. And here's our given problem. A tank has two rooms separated by a membrane. Room A has 1 kilogram of air and a volume of 0.5 cubic meter. Room B has 0.5 cubic meter of air with density 0.8 kilograms per cubic meter. The membrane is broken and the air comes to a uniform state. Find the final density of the air. And here's the given of the problem. In room A, M sub air A is equal to 1 kilogram. V sub A is equal to 0 0.5 cubic meter. In room B, V sub B is equal to 0 0.75 cube. And density of air B is equal to 0 0.8 kilograms per cubic meter. And here's the solution. First, we need to find mass of air from B. M sub air B is equal to V sub B times density of air B is equal to 0 0.75 times 0 0.8 is equal to 0 0.6 kilograms. And here's the calculation. Density of density F is equal to M sub gas A plus M sub gas B over V sub A plus V sub B is equal to 1.6 over 1.25 and the answer is 1.28 kilograms per cubic meter and that's the final answer. That's all. Thank you.